Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavy.in, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, I will be talking to you uh, more about this book, which is um, uh, released recently. So this book is all about building single page app right from the scratch using uh, latest Microsoft um, stack, which is ASP.NET Core with Entity Framework Core and AngularJS. So this is uh, the cover of the book, which you can see over here. It's it's being released by BBB Publications, uh, which is one of the uh, biggest computer uh, books publisher. And um, uh, if you can see here in this my blog, uh, th this, these are the different avenues via which you can buy the book. Uh, certainly, and uh, apart from like uh, buying these things online, you can just go ahead and uh, buy the same from a different bookstore as well but rather than talking about uh, this different avenues i like to flip over to the app first and show you the glimpse of a live running app so as you can see here like uh, this is the live running app which is let me go to this home page and here is that now the fact is um, uh, here i have hosted the same on that uh, cloud which is azure over here and this is the domain for that movie review.azurewebsites.net so this is the one um, which is um, uh, dedicated for this particular app or uh, running live you can uh, see this app ru running live and you can experience the same before going for the purchase of book <clears throat> now this is the home page which is nothing but the list of all the movies which you will be adding from the movies link I will show you these things shortly and um, in the in this home page this uh, all these things which are uh, you are seeing here is all angular stuff so, i mean backend is asp.net core and web api but this representation of data and every other thing which you are seeing here like pagination filtering everything is angular which is doing um, behind the scenes so if you can go ahead and search for let's say godzilla you, this will filter completely you can do pagination that is also from angular so these are all third party controls uh, which is coming from angular and you can see these things live and you can implement the uh, these things while um, building this app while uh, going through the book now um, if you go ahead and uh, click on the movies link so here what you can do is like uh, uh, here again there's the that's the filtering is there paging is also there here you can go ahead and add new movie so this will certainly open a new form wherein you can go ahead and add a new movie if you like and um, other thing which you can do here is like um, you can just edit this movie whatever is being added and um, certainly uh, reviews are associated with that uh, all those movies now these are the things um, which you can see here like uh, how many uh, reviews are getting attached to a particular movies so that particular movie will uh, move to the stack in the list because um, there this is designed in such a way like uh, which has got the highest number of reviews that will come first that means uh, in web api i have designed it in uh, on the top of reviews itself you can go ahead and certainly edit these things so these are the things which you can do here these are all basic crud operations nothing rocket science now if you flip back to the movies you are seeing these things currently um, all an anonymous view which means there uh, i have not given a flexibility for an anonymous user to go ahead and delete that record the reason being is um, uh because i believe that delete operation is a uh, expensive operation and uh, this is simply going to any anonymous user can just simply walk in and simply delete that uh, uh, record so for preventing that i just uh, made that registration mandatory so when you click on this registration link so it will just uh, open that register form so with that email id you can go ahead and um, simply register yourself with the site since i have already done this part so i will simply go ahead and log in with my id and here uh, as soon as i logged in my email id will be highlighted over here so now when i go ahead and uh, flip over to this movies link here i will see one more um, a column is getting populated which is saying that remove right so when i click on this remove button so this boot box will come uh, uh, pitch in uh, with that 
um, saying that, are you sure whether you want to delete this particular record or not? So I will simply say no for now. And uh, this will cancel the operation and uh, get me to the same page. Similarly, when you click on the reviews uh, link, it will again uh, list you all the remove operations associated to that review. So you can understand this. Uh, this site is entirely uh, built at the top of CRUD operations. So this is uh, this supports all the CRUD operations behind the scenes. With that uh, latest uh, Microsoft stack thing in place and um, angular in place now there is the another link which talks about api status so let's me open this in a different link so when you open this you can see over here uh, which are the apis which is live which is working fine so this is a kind of glimpse which you can provide to the end user which says like hey these are the links which is working fine so these are my uh, uh, web APIs basically, uh, which is fetching the data and listing over here, um, which with listing over here like uh, the list of movies. So these are the things which is running live and successfully fetching the data. The one which is failing, I purposely failed this just to demonstrate you guys uh, up over here. Like here, I have given a wrong URL just to break things easily. That is why this is coming with a status 404. That's the one thing. So this is just the insight of an API which is running uh, uh, fine and which is failing. So this is kind of good thing which you can provide to the end users saying that hey, uh, which APIs are working fine and which APIs are failing. So this is built on top of QUnitJS. So you will again learn these things while uh, writing that unit test for that entire project. So I have utilized uh, QUnit for writing my web API test cases. I have written the same using Jasmine for my writing my Angular test cases. Now, apart from that, there is uh, you can also flip over to this link, which is API movies on the top of my domain itself, right? So when you do this, it will just uh, present you all this data which is coming over here. Now, the fact is, uh, I am using uh, one JSON extension over here. Sorry, Chrome extension over here, which is json viewer and this is uh, i'm using just to present data in a pretty readable format which you can see here this is quite nice and clean and readable thing which is presenting over here so i will recommend you guys to go ahead and install these extensions when you are building any kind of app which is uh, driven by json data uh, this is quite helpful for debugging as well now let's see the solution once now this is the solution which you'll be building guys right from the scratch uh, so this solution consists of five um five mini projects including um, my primary web project now this um, primary web project is having uh, the association of all these my dependent projects now there is one unit test project so this is different i mean uh, this is just for testing my app consistency whether things are okay or not and there is a data project which uh, is self-explanatory so all these projects are self-explanatory and these are all infrastructure projects basically these are built on top of a couple of design patterns so i have used repository pattern for uh, consistency for my API consistency unit of work pattern to issuing a commit or cancel command at one shot or uh, fetching data from different repositories. Then I have uh, models, which is my simple two models, which is movie class and movie review class. So these are the things which is uh, pretty simple and clean. I have also applied my, um, which you can see certain extension methods, which you can refer over here. So these are, um, built on top of factory extension like um, design principles solid principles which i have applied so uh, these are all the infrastructure code which you will be uh, learning like how to apply the thing when you are uh, uh, starting the project right from the scratch now apart from that um, i have already hosted this code base here which you can see here on rahul sahai 19 slash movie review spice collection here in this zip file, I have everything uploaded, all the infrastructure code, which is required you to get started with that project. 
so once you download the zip file you will get all the infrastructure code which is uh, this uh, project data data contracts model and some of the uh, modules in the web project as well to get you started whatever my custom code is there now if you inspect these things now these are my angular stuffs so this is a web api test basically this thing is my q unit class which is running and which is just looping through all my uh, apis and producing me that uh, that live um, which we have seen that api over here right so this is that one so this one these stuffs i have already provided in that uh, um, skeleton project these are my custom chairs so here it is uh, my movie data service which is uh, i have uh, delegated all my services stuffs to one file which is my movie data service dot chairs file so this is just opening i just a sec so these are the things right so here you can have all the like uh, my all crud operations which is there is delegated it to one in one file apart from that uh, related controllers and every other thing modules are uh, piece of this particular app folder so these things are pretty basic so if you have any familiarity with any angular project so far then i don't think this will be uh, create any uh, problem for you apart from that uh, there are controllers uh, again in that api i have uh, movies controller which is my backend api uh, wherein you can see that when i am issuing the control uh, like uh, when i whenever i am doing movies api so it is hitting all these urls like you can see over here like uh, get api movies uh, via id or simply doing all these things so it is just producing me entirely uh, that stuff so these are my backend stuff right apart from that uh, there is a movie reviews controller there is a custom controller also which is that lookup controller see you will learn all these facts like uh, how to design the controller first then how to mock up the data then you will be uh, going through um, like how you will be designing from getting started with the angular so angular has got um, three chapters itself now let's flip over to the blog and let's see the content over here now when you see the content of that you will see that first chapter is entirely dedicated to the glimpse of the book which you are seeing over here in that um, in this particular um, uh, in this particular um, app uh, demo so this will be the first chapter uh, glimpse apart from that second uh, actual thing is starts from the second chapter wherein you can see that uh, the very first thing which you'll be doing is the creation of all infrastructure stuffs uh, installing all the important data tools uh, installing create entity framework and writing um, db context classes and all those things from chapter three uh, you will be doing all that uh, backend stuff like you are designing your uh, api controllers you are um, writing different methods around that for entirely supporting that crud operation and uh, then uh, from chapter four to chapter six is entirely dedicated with ui design like how you'll interact with angular uh, to the back end how you do uh, interpolation how you do data binding and all other stuffs which are mandatory stuff like client side validation and all other things and apart from that there is a chapter seven right which is the last chapter of the book which actually talks about like how to uh, get started with the unit testing around web apis which is from the framework q unit js then writing angular test uh, using jasmine framework apart from that you will be uh, knowing that how to host this particular app uh, in a different with a variety of techniques uh, so that when i say variety of techniques it's uh, kicks in that kestro framework and then uh, publishing the same on ias with a different command whether with you are running on uh, uh, version one uh, 2015 version one then it would be a dnu or dot net so whatever uh, version you are running that will be applicable then lastly you will be publishing the same on azure which you are seeing over here so these are the techniques which you are going to learn in this now apart from that there are certain recommendations which i have given in the book uh, to be handy with that um, so that it will help you in that now 
if you see in that first chapter basically uh, when i say variety of techniques so you can see here like uh, what are the client side technologies being used over here a bunch of things which is the, like um, html5 css3 angular js of course toaster bootstrap templates bava technique to fetch all that um, all that uh, uh, like uh, libraries from the cloud which we have been doing uh, via NuGet till 2013 but uh, from 2015 it is bower package manager which is fetching all the client side dependencies from the cloud uh, and there is again for server side we have um, node package manager if that is related to something uh, from for the javascript itself but in that in this case uh, we are doing the backend thing uh, from the NuGet package manager itself for installing uh, things like entity framework core and or web api or other uh, dependent stubs now the fact is apart from these server side technologies uh, this is that uh, asp.net core basically and um, uh, which is uh, the latest from that stack and then sql server we have uh, entity framework core code first approach so these are the server side techniques which has been used you can see that how many technologies uh, utilized for building this uh, single page app right from the scratch apart from that uh, we have applied uh, design terminologies which i have just shown you over here in that app like uh, there are variety of techniques has been applied like factory pattern solid principles unit of work pattern repository principle uh, repository patterns so everything under this um, design techniques and design uh, principles has been covered so nothing has been uh, left out for a writing any industry standard app right from the beginning apart from that uh, there is testing framework which i have used these are ms tests for writing server side code uh, for testing server side tests um, this is the usual stuff which we have been doing uh, for quite a long time jasmine is for writing angular tests q unit which we have seen live over here is for testing our web api again 2015 is my uh, choice uh, uh, tool of choice so which i can show that uh, this is 2015 on which uh, it has been built i hope you have liked this discussion um, and um, i like uh, look forward for your comments reviews on that uh, and on and on any any of the platforms whether you are buying the book or not buying the book um, and what are the reasons how do you like the book uh, i look for your constructive feedback let me know about that either on the blog or on that uh, different uh, platforms Thanks for joining me. Happy coding.